if you were to make a top three list of what you would assume every grandmother would have in a cookbook, chocolate chip cookies are probably number one, but I would be willing to bet that blueberry muffins are probably in there as well. So here we are, the blueberry muffin recipe in this cookbook. How is it? I have no idea. Let's find out together on today's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. All right, first things first, we're going to do is mix all the wet ingredients together, which includes one egg beaten, three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, and a half cup of milk. Whisk that together until well combined, and then you'll add one tablespoon of melted butter to that, then whisk that together. Next, you're going to take all the dry ingredients and add them to the wet, which consists of one and a half cups of flour, one quarter teaspoon salt, one tablespoon baking powder, and then mix that together. Once that is all well incorporated, you're going to toss together one and a half cups of blueberries with a little bit of flour just to coat them so they don't sink to the bottom in the mixture. That would be my guess. Once well combined, you will put them into a muffin pan about three fourths of the way up the top of the molds. Put them into an oven for 12 minutes at 425 degrees. And there you go. Blueberry muffins. Kinda. How do these taste? Uh, in the words of Mary Berry, very stodgy. Didn't rise all that much. And not much in the way of flavor with these. Very surprised how these turned out. I mean, I looked at the recipe to make sure I didn't mess anything up. And I, mean, I followed it as it went. And can't very well recommend these at all. Blueberries were good, though. But anyway, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.